Trucknacons form devastator. Sorry, boss. We're halfway done. And the other guys have been Anthony James, you know, box. Well, I be a mother structor. I thought your name was Scrapper. Shh. Don't tell Hasbro. Oh, man, kids. It's time for you. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the TFC Toys Hercules Strucker, aka Classic Scrapper figure. Here we got the packaging with a nice window box of um, Strucker uh, and with a, a nice uh, art of him and Hercules Strucker. Side of the box shows all his different modes, while the other side has a nice uh, box art of him. The back shows also his, all three of his modes, which is very cool. Collect all six. I have all six. All right, enough of this crap. It's time for scrap. -er. And here we got TFC Toy Strucker, aka Classic Scrapper, looking awesome in robo mode. Definitely a truly worthy leader of the constructed console. Let's take a closer look at his robot mode. I love the head sculpt, probably one of my favorite head sculpts, very G1 accurate, but also has very nice light piping. Yeah, you can kind of tell right there. Ooh, red, <laughs> but blurry. Anyway, um, I really love the silver in this uh, head, the nice green plastic I've been using. And little nice silver bits right there, as well as the chest. These little hole bits right here, he comes with these little screw hole uh, covers. I don't want to try to put them on. It doesn't really matter. It's going to be in a you know, Hercules mode once it's all done. So, But I love the little bits uh, in the legs right there. The silver is very nice. Uh, I love that paint that they use in the little red. The tail lights, this little heels right here to support him. The wheels right there. Um, of course he has this little part right there, which I'll get into the little scooper part. Like all the other uh, constructor cons, he comes with a purple and a red gun, which uh, he has right there. Um, they will form a bigger gun, which I'll show later in the Hercules review, so stay tuned. Articulation uh, scrapper, a Strucker's head can rotate. Um, it can't go up and down because of uh, his transformation, but his arms could uh, almost rotate, but they hit the wheel part right there, but they can go in and out. They rotate at that bicep right there and bend at the elbow, which is like a nice double joint. And his wrist can go in and out due to the transformation. Um, he does also have this cool joint right here, which will help in his leg mode. They can go rock back and forth. And he also has a waist joint, a nice ratchet waist joint that can move, but it does get hindered by this part a little bit, but. Still not too bad. Legs can go in and out as well as forward and back on the ratchet joint. Rotates over part of the leg. Um, you can bend um, at the knee. It's a nice ratchet joint as well as you know, rotate. And his ankles uh, don't uh, move or anything, but except for this back part. But you know he has quite a bit of posability. Just like all the other Hercules members, you get the instructions on how to transform Strector. As well as a nice little card that you can see here. His stats, uh, his skill is a level 8 as well as his intelligence and strength. So he's a really smart and skillful guy. You also get these little wing pieces which will be the chest of Devastator. But of course the original Scrapper came with these pieces. Well, they all, you know, they, it was meant for them. And you can actually uh, put this into his arms. Little hole right there, you would just uh, place it into uh, his arms right there. It actually looks pretty cool. It's uh, He's kind of like the Batman of the Constructicons, or he just loves Red Bull because he has wings. Let me transform Scrapper, I mean, Structor into his friend and loader. So you would just take off the wing pieces and, of course, all the guns. What we'll do, we'll put his head down, as you can see here. Let's put his hands in each arm you're gonna actually bring this make sure to rotate these all the way down to where they're facing like this way and this little butt part uh, right here you're gonna actually bring this whole thing out like that and then he claps his little heels on the back here and you take these uh, this hole in this tab and you want to tab these together and then you can actually fold fold the legs into there so it all tabs in together like this. Then this part you actually want to bring down and then uh, the, these little tabs will uh, go into here. These little silver bits on each part, what's great about they tab into this little hole right there to secure it which will be great when we do his leg mode. And what's cool is that this little tab right here, you bring the arms down and it goes into this little hole right here so it stays securely in place once you get in there. So you would just do the same thing for both sides, which I really, really like. And you just bring the little loader part down. And here we got Structor, aka Scrapper, and his friend in loader mode, which is very awesome. It's also very functional. Probably one of my favorite of the um, 
out mode so let's take a closer look one thing i love about this part like the little shovel part it actually has really nice articulation and you can see the little piston right there in and out and in and out oh, that's dirty anyway um so you know it's very cool it has the little canopy right there you know where the people are in the very nice silver wheels i really love the altman a lot even the little detailing with the grill it's very nice and the silver bits and the tail lights you know can't i mean the head can kind of show right there but this is going to be down but even when it's up it's it's not that noticeable i still like a lot i love those little silver bits right there it looks very nice uh very very awesome detail on it now he has the holes right here on on each end which you can either put the guns um in and they actually pretty streamlined for the most part you can make it like rocket you know front end loader rocket load take a rocket load after you take a rocket dump whichever or if you want you can give your front end loader wings you just take the wing parts and you just put them in here on those little tabs right there and that's also cool because that's very g1 where uh, scrapper you can put the wings on there which i really like <laughs> it's his battle mode uh, you could actually put a gun right on here too so it's kind of like a little turret i really like that pew 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 i can fly and i can pick up dirt yeah i'm awesome size comparison vehicle mode you can see how much bigger it is the g1 scrapper and how much bigger it is than the normal transformer deluxe like transformers prime bumblebee how much longer it is than the normal deluxe and how much bigger it is than its g1 counterpart now it's time to transform a scrapper i mean a strucker into its final mode the right leg of hercules aka devastator so take out all the guns and the wings take out all that stuff it's actually very easy you want to bring this up and then tab these parts and you want to bring the wheels down like this keep the arm arms folded in like that do the same on the other side untab this up rotate this to this way where the wheels are to the front and just fold these in and bring them down this is where he'll connect to heavy labor you would just bring this up little a-hole as uh Sharmus prime would say um but yeah and then that would be the full right leg of hercules aka devastator i'll show him fully combined in the articulation once i do my hercules review but ankle pivot instructicons it's time to attack oh, boss i ate some bad cybertronian pizza i got to take a heavy loader dump where's a crapper when you need it oh wait here's wait wait i'm scrapper not crapper <laughs> Stuff. I'm a Let me guess, you ate a Domino's pizza again. Size comparison time. So here you can see the Structor is the same scale as his other um, Constructicon or uh, Hercules Brothers, whatever. Um, you can see how much bigger it is than the G1 Scrapper. Uh, he is bigger than a Transformer Deluxe like Wheeljack. And he's about the same size as a 6-inch figure like the Marvel Legends Extremist Iron Man. Uh, just slightly shorter in the head. Now, the TFC Toy Structor is an awesome figure. Once again, like I said, if you collect any of these figures, it's another well-built, well-articulated, uh, awesome you know, robot vehicle mode that transforms into the leg of uh, De um, Hercules, whatever. He is the leader of the Constructicons, you know, Scrapper, so he's definitely a must-have. I love the head sculpt, especially on this one, and the robot mode is actually one of my favorites so far, so just keep in mind, just like all the other figures, this is a you know almost a hundred dollar figure each so it's gonna be over 600 bucks to complete all of them but if it's totally worth it in my opinion if you're a big fan of scrapper then you'll have this figure but you'll probably have all six of these guys if you don't want to spend that money wait till hasbro does one maybe or you can just get the g1 set which is a lot cheaper for all six constructicons but like i said if you want a classics version of scrapper and devastator this is definitely a must-have i highly recommend it for more geek news reviews and more check out bkbn.net i'm sean long member of subway turn in a big way in brightest day in blackest night urban collector is tight if you like superhero video game, movie, action figures, replicas, t-shirts, and more, check out Urban Collector. They take all credit cards and PayPal, plus do pre-orders with urban-collector.com. You don't need a power ring to be a superhero, but I think they sell them too. Awesome!
You want the horns? You got them. I think it's time for the cliff to get some boots to asses. You think that was pretty clever? Still in my line like that? Yeah, I think it is pretty clever that- It doesn't matter what you think! You're just a lay. 